Okay. I already see what this is going to be. Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Copy mana copy to all you Alipers there. Uh, I don't have my coffee, but I have chocolates from the Easter holidays. Sorry. So guys, Alipers included, I'm going to react to Ali Bata with his fingerstyle cover of Linksir Wengi. From all the songs that I've reacted to him, this is for sure the one that I know the least. Practically not, actually. So, let's listen to that. Here we go. Oh. Okay. I already see what this is going to be. He's changing the pitch of his strings mid-song. That is crazy. First of all, uh, your guitar has to be very good quality for you to be able to trust it that it's going to stay at the tone you tune it in at that moment also you have to have a very good ear to uh, change the pitch of your guitar that quickly i have seen some people do that mid song but i didn't know where he was going to use it in this makes sense though You see him using these harmonics with his right hand there, uh, just above the opening of his guitar, right there. Very high that he uses that um, that harmonic. Let, let's return a little bit and check it out what he does with his right hand there. Right there. There. He's using the technique that I saw for the first time in his video of Numb. If you haven't seen that video, that is still my most watched video so far. Um, the link will be somewhere above here, so check that out for sure. But there he used that technique where he uh, pushed down on the head of his guitar, or rather on the string that is at the head of his guitar, to raise the pitch. And the bridge. What? How did he do that? It's such an interesting technique. See how hard he slams down his uh, index finger on the fret there. That's now that's a hammer-on technique if you've ever seen one. First of all, if you want to go that hard on the on the fret, if you're not accurate with that, it's not gonna sound good. So props. Also, what I was about to say, the same technique where he pushes down on the string at the height of his head, right there. A situation in which that is a handy technique is if you just play the string by itself. So let's for example say if you play the lowest string, the first string, the E string. You know what guys, I'm gonna take my guitar for this one. So guys, if you want to uh, play one of the strings separately, let's say for the example the lowest string, the E string. If you want to raise that pitch, there's no way to do that except for here on the head of your guitar, right here. So if I play the string and I push down here, 
then you can give that effect. The same for a vibration effect in there. Now one guitar will differ from the other, but that is the only way, for example, on this guitar to change a pitch if you just play one of the strings by itself. Okay, so and that's probably also what I see in his uh, in his case. Okay, that quick intermezzo here. But now you know in which cases you can use this technique. Also the same actually if he plays a harmonic with his right hand, just on the string without pushing down a fret. That's also one of the ways you can change the pitch of your harmonic. That was a nice bend. Didn't expect it there. How, how did he do that bend? That was so different than the other ones. He didn't change the pitch of his string, so that... I don't know. It sounded different, but I don't really know exactly what he did there. Explain to me, guys, if you know, but it sounded very cool. He did a normal bend before. Because the change of pitch mid playing, it gives that it gives that creepy effect. I think I, it gives a creepy sound to it. The pitch of the of the notes changing that way. It gives oh, I get goosebumps. Uh, I get a cold feeling when I hear that, and it's very hard probably to get that feeling through playing the guitar because the instruments that you hear in the original song are not on guitar as far as I heard the first one that I listened to it. Very unique, again, very unique type of playing and, and very unique techniques. constantly hammering down and pulling off the strings without strumming the strings so he actually is giving a lot of power with his fingers on the frets because certain parts where he hit the upper string or with the ring and pinky finger he's just hammering down without playing it and still he gets quite a lot of volume out of that right here Very interesting technique here. Some of the things that I also have never seen, like the, the bending technique that I really don't know how he does it. Does he start partially in a bend and then go a little bit higher and return back? 
I'd have to look a couple of times more to really understand why he does that. I'm really not sure. So I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this one. Also, don't forget to check out my other reactions to Ali Bata. Those are some of my most watched videos on the channel. So definitely check out those videos as well. I also have other reaction videos. I have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye.